Give it up, ladies and gentlemen, for Matt Foster! <laughs> London, it's good to be here. Oh, we're all tangled up here. We're good, we're good. Yeah, um, Canada, you guys, relax. That's where I'm from. I love the, I love the silence after the accent. Like, which one are you? <laughs> oh, threatening. I love it, London. This is good. We drinking tonight? Awesome. Well, drink up. You know, just don't drink too much, or we, uh, we might find out who you really are. <laughs> That's what they say about alcohol. Have you guys heard that? For some reason in our culture, alcohol has this thing. Someone gets drunk, and we're all like, no, oh, that's... That's the real version of them. <laughs> that makes no sense to me. All right, saying alcohol reveals the real person is like taking the brakes off a car and then being like, well, now we know. <laughs> yeah, now we know who the real car is. <laughs> and I always thought that piece of shit wanted to crash into buildings, and I am not surprised. And why that drug? Alcohol is the only one we say that about. Only alcohol is truth serum, right? No other drug gets it, right? Weed doesn't get it. No one's ever gotten too high with someone. And then the next day been like, so I met the real Dave last night. <laughs> yeah, it turns out he microwaves peanut butter sandwiches. <laughs> and then he doesn't even come back to eat them afterward. Yeah, just warms them up and goes to bed. That's who Dave is. Wouldn't leave them alone with my kids. <laughs> yeah, someone made that up about alcohol, right? Hundreds of years ago, and we still believe it. Boy, someone's friend, someone who after a night of drinking needed a little reassurance because they were acting like an ass the night before, right? The next day, they're like, dude, I feel awful last night. I, 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 I hit on my boss. I puked on a cat. <laughs> and I woke up in a bush. And this guy was like, oh, it's okay, buddy. You know, that's just... That's just who you are. <laughs> At your core, you're a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. I got nothing against alcohol, by the way. I was looking forward to our end of COVID party we never got. I know, it never happened. I was looking forward to it. I wanted to reminisce about the good times. One of my favorite days was that first public conversation out of lockdown. I was at a jewelry store trying to get my wife a necklace, and the woman working there was trying to help me pick one out, I guess also hadn't talked for a year. <laughs> because her first question, she was like, okay, so like, tell me about your wife. Like, how would you describe her? Would you, would you say she's elegant? I was like, yeah. <laughs> Is there another answer to that question? <laughs> right, I'm pretty sure it's illegal to say no, right? Like, I'm surrounded by people. What kind of monster <laughs> would ever be like, is my wife elegant? <laughs> no, I wouldn't call her that. <laughs> no, my wife's got a real thick, strong neck, actually. <laughs> yeah, hard to break. It's why I married her. <laughs> yeah, I wanted someone who could back me up in a fight, take a punch. Do you guys have something for necks like that? <laughs> yeah, because I was just going to go on Amazon and get her a bike lock. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I don't know. COVID's been scary, though. Eh? COVID was scary. Hard time to be a hypochondriac, I'll tell you that. <laughs> That's what I am. I, thought I've, I already thought I was dying well before COVID. But I, I'm a hypochondriac, but I hate going to the doctors. I don't know if it's the same here, but, like, doctors are, like, super lazy back in Canada now. I find, you know, they don't do anything. Like, like, I went to go see my GP a couple months ago. I had a sore throat, right? She took a look, and then I swear to God, she asked me what I think they should do. <laughs> I was like, you're asking me. I'm a hypochondriac, and I have a sore throat. I think we should do chemo. <laughs> Can you put that on your pad? Take that into boots? I'm pretty neurotic, as you can tell, but I'm doing better. I got a dog recently, which has been very helpful for my emotional state. Um, I didn't rescue him. I want to be upfront about that. I did buy, I buy a new dog. Uh, nothing against rescues. I just prefer that new dog smell. I uh, <laughs> Fresh out of the box. No. No, he was... It's weird. Like I know all the rescues have been rescued, so I had to buy a dog. And because I spent so much money on him, I get really offended when people ask if he's a rescue. 
People do it all the time. They're like, oh, my God, he's adorable. Is, is he a rescue? I'm like, no. 